welcome back to our channel way out here. It is a beautiful sunny day. It's a little cool, but not too bad actually. I'm just gonna be out here, try to get some sun on my back and through my arms and stuff. Feels good to be in the sun. Um, I thought today we would take our kale, what we actually have left of it, because we had some pretty harsh frosts over the past couple weeks. Um, we do have some, not kale, arugula. We do have some arugula that I would like to freeze, and I'm going to freeze it in olive oil and maybe just a pinch of salt and call it a day, and I'm probably going to freeze it in a duck egg container because, because sadly, we don't have any ice cube um, trays to freeze it in, so... But I'm going to turn you guys around so you can see what's left of our arugula. And I'm going to take my little scissors and we're going to cut some off and we're going to get to freezing this. Alright, so this is what we've got here. Um, looks pretty good. I mean, it's frozen and it's weighed down and you can tell it's not perfect. But um, a frost is actually going to help the flavor come out in this and it's probably still good. So I'm actually... Oh yeah, that's really good. So, I'm going to start cutting this and putting it in my colander. Alright, so this is the arugula that I was able to cut. And again, I just used kiss kitchen scissors to do that. Um, yeah, it's super nice day today though. I want to go back outside. It's so nice. Um, anyway, I am going to just wash this up, cut it, and then we've got these little... Not little, they're pretty big because they hold duck eggs, not chicken eggs. So, um, it is a duck egg container. We have one in the fridge that's full of duck eggs. This one's not in use and I'm going to go maybe grab another one of these. But again, we don't have ice cube trays. So I am actually going to put the arugula in each one of these chopped up, fill it with some olive oil and a pinch of salt in each one. And then I'm going to put this in the freezer. And then as soon as these freeze up, I can then pop the little, they're going to make these little like half ball shapes because they'll be flat on the top. I'm going to pop them out and I'm going to put them in their own container so then we can use this um, again for duck eggs. So I'm just going to wash this, wash my arugula, and then I'm going to get on this. It's really quick, really super simple, really easy. And this is great for like soups. It's great to like melt and then have it for like a, a dressing for salads. Um, this is a good thing and we like it and it's, um, it, sorry, and it's really good for like to store your own food over winter and especially storing it in the olive oil is going to give you that little burst of fat and it's going to be really good really good for you um we use organic olive oil but i mean do what you want do what your budget allows you to do but we like the organic so that's what we're going to use our arugula in the duck egg containers and I kind of packed it in and it could even stand to be packed a little tighter but yeah just press I mean you're gonna freeze it anyway but yeah just press all of this green arugula in here and then we're gonna cover this in some olive oil and it looks like in order to get enough oil to cover the arugula I'm gonna have to use too much not really too much, but more than like one of these little cups will hold. 
because the arugula is over the top, but I want these to be big, like balls of oiled arugula. So I'm actually just gonna put the oil in, put this in the freezer, and then when it gets done and it freezes, I will break them like here and then here. So I'll have individual pieces before I put them in their own container to store in the freezer. All right, so we got our olive oil and I do have a little bit of salt. I'm not gonna do too much salt, I just want a little, just to keep a little bit of flavor as it freezes. And then I'm gonna use quite a bit of this because it's gonna take quite a bit. And I need another olive oil, so I'm gonna go get another one of these. All right, that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. Maybe push some of these tips that are sticking out of the leaves in the oil. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Um, when these get frozen and I get back today, I will take these out of the freezer and I will show everyone how they look and how I'm gonna pop these apart to make them like little individualized servings of arugula. All right, so it is the next morning after I froze my arugula in olive oil. And pardon my voice today, I'm getting over a little bit of a cold, but that's what it looks like. Um, now we're just gonna pop it out of here. There's some oil obviously on the side, but that's okay. I might need a bigger plate. But this is a metal plate, so I don't risk breaking it, but I may have to let this thaw just a little. I get these out, maybe. Alright, let's try. Alright, I just got a butter knife. I'm going to try to get these out this way. We might have to wait. So I'm going to let this sit for like, I don't know, five minutes or so and let the oil loosen up around the sides before I pop these out of here. So, because they're, they're stuck in there pretty good, but it should be fine. There's plenty of oil in there. I'm actually getting oil on my hands. No, it's all shiny. So, I'll probably just go finish up doing a few things for work and then take my pajamas off, get ready for the day, and then come back and try to get these out of here again. All right, all I did was get dressed, took care of a few things. So, I've been letting this sit out for five uh, not quite 10 minutes. It's coming out. Well, still not coming out very easily. Oh, there we go. That's what I'll do. All right. We get storage container. And then pop these guys out. So this is what they look like. And we're going to just freeze these again. Put them in here. Freeze them in these chunks. And then these will go like one little half ball. Can go into soup. It can go into like a dressing. Um, it'd be really good on like a pre-dressed salad. If you just want to throw it in a salad and let it melt. And then like make your lettuce salad around it. But this actually worked out pretty well, especially since we don't have an ice tray. Um, this is kind of the option that we had available, duck egg container. 
All right, so I think I'm gonna get another container just to put these last couple in because I don't really want them to congeal all the way back together. out but see they if they come out like this you can just break them up. so that's it that's all we do um if you have an ice cube tray obviously that's easier um but yeah that's just how we preserve any arugula that you have left over in your garden and we like to let it frost several times because it gives you more flavor and then after freezing it you're not going to lose that flavor like i can smell this arugula from here it smells really good and it's really potent. It gets like a little spicier, but really, really good. So let it frost over the first time. And this stuff can handle a pretty intense frost. So again, this is good for cooler climates, people who get winter early, um, like we do. So yeah, this is good. We've had this out. Today's November 30th, and I, I picked all this yesterday on the 29th. So, and it's really good, and we still had some left over, and we pretty much just eat on it all summer. I also let the plants flower and go to seed so they come up on their own next year so I won't have to plant any next year unless for some reason those don't come up but they always have so no not really that worried about it I think we'll have arugula next year and yeah try it out if you have extra arugula thanks for stopping by our channel from way out here bye